Fred McGuffin Reviews. Witness for the Prosecution. This is from 1957, and it is directed by and written by one of the writers, Billy Wilder. Now, Billy Wilder, you should know that name if you like movies. He's directed his fair share of classic movies, and here's a few. The Apartment, Some Like It Hot, Sabrina, Dalag 17, Seven Year Itch, Double Indemnity, Sunset Boulevard. That's directing, and he's also written a lot of great movies too. So he's multi-talented. And he does a great job here. This is based on an Agatha Christie stage play. And it's in black and white. And it's crime, drama and mystery. So if you like good uh, murder mystery, this is for you. And don't, I know it's in black and white, but don't let that stop you. You really enjoy this. We have Charles Lawton uh, playing Sir Wilfred Robarts. And he's going to defend Leonard Bowl, uh, who's played by Tyrone Power, in a, a murder case. And uh, yeah, we have some great actors here. We have Marlena Dietrich plays the wife of Leonard Bowl. He's Christine in this. And yeah, just those three is reason enough. Their performances is reason enough to watch this. Although I find Marlena Dietrich's performance is usually very cold and austere. And yeah, people love her. She was a legend. So let's go. Let's talk about Charles Lawton. Mutiny on the Bounty, Spartacus, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Island of Lost Souls. And he also directed a classic, really brilliant movie called The Night of the Hunter, which uh, stars Robert Mitchum and is worth checking out. Marlena Dietrich, you may have seen in Judgment at Nuremberg, Cut to Beeble, Destry Rides Again, and Morocco. Now, I've seen her in Destry Rides Again and really enjoyed her performance in that with James Stewart. And yeah, so it's nice to check out more of her movies and see why. Try to find out or figure out why she's such a legend back in the day. And Tyrone Power, very good in this. He, uh, He's, he's a, a key a keystone in this movie. Without his performance in this, um, you know, it, it would fall apart. And he was also in Nightmare Alley. Not the new one, the older one, 1947. Uh, there was a remake with Guillermo del Toro. And I think I prefer the original one, actually, the black and white original. The Black Rose, Rawhide. A Yank in the RAF and The Mark of Sorrow. And yeah, nice to see him in action too. I haven't seen many of his movies apart from Nightmare Alley. And he does a great job in this. Great performance. And we also have, in, in this movie, Sir Wilfred Roberts has just come back from hospital. He had a heart attack. So he's got a nurse with him who's taking care of him because he, he likes all the wrong things in life. Uh, drink and smoking and there's a lot of comedy relating to that in this so it's not all a serious courtroom crime drama there's a lot of comedy in this too that's really and, and a lot of billy billy wilder's movies mix the tragedy and the comedy as well and drama so yeah i suppose life's like that really and yeah so miss elsa lanchester plays miss plimsoll and you may know her name. She was the Bride of Frankenstein. She was in Mary Poppins and Murder by Death. And a bit of trivia here. Charles Lawton and Elsa Lanchester were married in real life. So obviously they had that sort of chemistry together and they worked really well together. And that's another big plus for this movie is just that relationship in this film. And yeah, this just two hours fly by. There's great support and cast. If you like Agatha Christie, if you like her work, her books, and she's got a, a mountain of, of literature and books that uh, I haven't read mu much of, but this, this is the type of movie that makes you want to 
uh, discover more of her her writings and her uh, movies made about uh, based on her books and so yeah I think if you like that sort of stuff you can't go wrong with this and highly recommend it I I am um, of course I'm not very good at figuring out who's done it and I didn't with this this uh, yeah this is a great surprise in this and and it's the type of movie once you watch it you'll you'll want to watch it again to see just to watch the performances again and to see what you missed or yeah it might be even more fun knowing the outcome and then watching it again and uh yeah i, I really want to give this a i'm giving this a four a solid four out of five and i'm, I'm torn I, I nearly want to give it a five out of five but i'm going to go with a four and yeah check it out black and white i watched this on uh, prime video and uh available on dvd and uh, blu-ray i'd say so witness for the prosecution 1957 check it out fred mcguffin reviewing witness for the prosecution yeah